It's awkward occurrence, awkward entertainment. So today is Friday, Friday morning, be exact. Um, it was a full moon yesterday, Thursday. I saw a full moon outside with the sun during the day. It was the sun during the day and a full moon during the day also. This was in the early afternoons, four or five in the afternoon. Well, welcome to Friday, full moon. Uh, shifters believe today that the moon is going to give them power. You know, they, they think they have power and they think they're going to get more power from the moon. To shift their subconscious or conscious to a fictional reality that they somehow created as if they're God. Or the shift to maybe back in time or to an, another reality where their body exists. And their body exists, but their body didn't invite them to that body. One thing these shifters don't understand, you can't invade somebody else's body if they're using their body with their conscience. So if there's infinite use, if they're going to they go one of the posts on full moon tomorrow night, which is tonight. So shifters don't understand if there's a hundred use and you want to shift to one of those, what makes you think that person wanted you to come invade their body? You cannot shift into somebody else's body. I don't care if they look like you or don't. You cannot shift to a fictional place somebody made up on TV. Doesn't make sense. You can't create an entire world. You, you can't do it. That's, that's, that's beyond your capability as a human. Like you're not God. These people believe they are God. They believe they have special powers to create. Um, they hypnotize themselves with self, self-induced self hypno, hypnosis. Uh, they count backwards from 100. Um, they implant thoughts in, them, in their head while doing this hypnosis. They implant thoughts in their head by doing affirmations. A lot of them are psychotic. On a psychotic break, psychotic breakdown. Um, this shifting thing will start at July, and we in the next year now. These people have been doing it for since last July, so I give it to December this year for them to realize uh, this is fake, or I give it to December this year for them to have full psychotic breakdowns and to psychosis. Um, the symptoms they experience, I'll put the symptoms at the end of the video, we'll talk about it at the end of this video. The symptoms they experience is so much similar to psychosis and symptoms of having a stroke. So let's go to another post about full moon, whatever they said in this post, another post. But um, the symptoms, like I said, psychosis, signs of stroke. Heart racing, uh, blood pressure going up. They feel numbness in their body. They feel detached from reality. Let's get back to this full moon thing. Um, they worship themselves. They do moon worship. That's what it's called, moon worship. If you think the moon is going to give you some special power, and you believe that in all your psychoticness, that's not a real word, psychoticness, and all your psychotic behavior, you believe that it's moon worship, self worship, like that can't end well. So you're gonna have a lot of people bowing down to the moon tomorrow in their bedroom, thinking they're gonna shift and they're gonna be disappointed when they um go to sleep and they just continue to have nightmares. They're gonna be very disappointed. So we have one girl who makes shifting videos. Uh, she's a straight up liar. Talks about um, she shifts to Marvel Universe about once a week. Like once a week she goes and sees some fictional people. Which I know she's lost her mind. Um, yeah, one, two, three girls. Uh, one boy. Either way, these people lost their mind. That hypnosis they do on themselves. Causes a psychotic breakdown. Believe it or not, hypnosis would be classified as sorcery. That would be Miss Victoria Christmas and that fake name, that fake last name Christmas. Who names a child Christmas? Uh, it, it sounds like a stage name. Well, you're probably you you have probably came across her channel. 
Like, she did a cook show talking about she cooked with some um, Marvel Universe character. I'm like, it's like, no, no. Lord, let me take a sip of my drink. No. So here goes a portal. They all tr they all try to make a portal in their dream. So they say, oh, we can lucid dream. You can use a lucid dream method and make a portal in your dream. And you can take that portal to your uh, your desired reality. And that doesn't work. You, you see these foolish comments they make on Reddit and Amnino. Foolish, man. Foolish comments. You get, get back to the symptoms. Foolish. They never thought to look up, hey, maybe these symptoms are signs of something else. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Because I'm losing my freaking mind. Because you're losing your freaking mind. That's that hypnosis. When you count back from 100, chatting crap, fall asleep on it. Then you start to have um, symptoms of having a stroke and symptoms of psychotic breakdown. They didn't bother to research none of that. No, they just listened to what Amnino told them or what Pat told them. Hold on one second. Let me continue this. As I was saying, they, they, they never bothered to look up the symptoms and see if it was an alternative um, condition that they're experiencing. But that's, that's whatever. Let's continue. There go, there here go Miss Victoria Christian, this psychotic person who experiences psychotic breakdowns. Oh, she ain't going to say it. I doubt she still tries shifting methods. Because when we go through the, uh, we're about to go through and see what the symptoms are. We're about to go see what the symptoms are. So she just makes up things for views. Uh, I don't know why people subscribe to that. People, I mean 13 and 17 year olds. I mean 13 and 17 year olds are stupid. They're all gullible, naive. You know, they'll believe the sun is the moon and the moon is the sun if the TV told them. If anybody told them, it's foolishness. Foolishness. Yes, I, I left a dislike. I leave a dislike on all their videos. How in the world you think a racing heartbeat numbness in your body? Confusion. Um, some people have nosebleeds. How in the world you think that's hefty? I don't understand. Like, if you, if shifting realities was real, you would have no symptoms. You would automatically be able to jump into another reality. Not not by using um the sleep state, but by, by using a machine. Or by using a spaceship or something. None of this is scientifically proven. I mean, science can't prove anything. Anything related to this. That's Miss Shimmy Shay. She's another um she's another good girl of the devil. Another good girl of the devil that goes around spreading lies. I guess she made a deal with the devil. Um, you know, if you push this crap, uh it'll give you more views and subs. That's what that's what that's my theory. Just like scientists make up theories, that's my theory. Um, here's Simone Squared. She's another occultist. Believe it or not, she's into occult crap, law of attraction, and manifestation. But she did a video about um, how shifting to Hogwarts is fake. She only talked about it briefly. Then she repeated herself about law of attraction. If you watch the video, it's just like her other video. She just repeats herself, repeats herself for views and money. She just it's it's, it's ridiculous. This is this is a uh, cult behavior. This this is cult behavior wrapped in um, occulted magic beliefs. Believe it or not, reality shifting on uh, Reddit page. The the owners <laughs> put the word occult in their post. So I don't know that I don't know what to tell you, um, little kids. <laughs> you got fooled into doing occult stuff. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put a post up where they're gonna do a podcast. Who's gonna do a podcast? Um, the mods over at Reddit on shifting realities is gonna do a podcast. In the post, they talk up. They talked about a cult and how they um really it just validates what I already knew. This validates what I already knew that this stuff is from the cult, from the devil, and whatever. Jesus Christ saves. Jesus Christ does save. 
What else do I want to talk about? So, um, the moon, the power of the moon. The moon is a light, which is why you see it during the day. I saw a full moon during the daytime, y'all. During the daytime, y'all. The night was nowhere around. The night skies was nowhere around. Go figure. Go figure. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can't draw power from the moon. So let's just continue. This is some post from Reddit. Um, you can read it yourself on screen. If your screen is big enough. Um, some more crazy stuff. These kids experience. We'll just say, oh my God, I'm so excited. Last night I was shifting. So this is a sign of psychosis. They heard a lot. They heard a loud bang. They weren't asleep. They were doing whatever, counting backwards. Uh, chanting, whatever the heck they were doing, whatever method, and they experienced a psychotic breakdown where they heard something that wasn't there. So just read their post. Any doctor, any any doctor, will tell you this is a psychotic breakdown. When you start to hear stuff that's not there, because you're doing self hypnosis. And you're chanting and you're doing all kinds of freaky crap. You're going to be labeled psychotic. You're going to be put on medications. You're going to lose your mind. You may become a, a danger to yourself and others around you. And your parents will have you put in a hospital until you come out of your crazy belief. Let's keep going to the next post, I guess. You can read it on screen. There you go. It's for your eyes. Let's keep going. All this is available. Um, I was shifting weird experience. Somebody smelled something when they were doing the method. Um, hallucinations of smell. Hallucinations of touch. Uh, these so-called shifters, they're wide awake and they feel something touching them. They smell something. Some of them smell wood or sulfur. They, don't, they didn't know they were smelling sulfur, but they smell sulfur. They hear stuff. So hallucinations, part of psychosis, part of being so signs of a psychotic breakdown. You can read the post yourself. Go there you go. These people, like you don't go on Reddit and read this crap. They they were told these are symptoms. They were told their psychotic breakdowns are symptoms they are shifting. And they never shift. They never shift. Them affirmations they repeat to themselves, they repeat while performing hypnosis on themselves. So I understand why they believe they can shift. Because they implanted that thought in their head to the fullest belief by performing freaking sorcery on themselves, hypnosis. Yeah. And yeah, these are some smart people. These are some smart people who put this out there to the world. So people, so stupid people could um, apply to their life. Like stupid, stupid. This is spirituality, wicked spirituality to the fullest. Here goes some fool or Amino who thinks he's a clone um, of a character. So, so he said, I just realized I'm D Daughtry's clone by looking at his old script for me and realizing, oh, I'm a clone. So he thinks this fool is so psychotic, he thinks he's not him. He thinks he's his subconscious and that his real self is in some different reality. Dude, they're going to lock you away and throw away the key until you wake up out of your delusion. And delusions are a part of a psychotic break, part of psychosis. But these little YouTubers that make videos talking about they shifted and they talk hardware classes, they won't tell you the truth. They won't they won't tell you that. Even though they experience the same psychotic episodes you do, they won't tell you the truth because they will lose viewers. They, they will lose your view. This is ridiculous, man. People haven't figured this out yet. Then you have symptoms of strokes. Of an upcoming stroke, when your heart race, your um, your body parts feel numb. You walk around disoriented, nausea. These people get dizzy also. I'm like these, these are some fools. These are fools. No grown adult is trying this because if they did, 
they were they would have saw first it's not healthy so give me a second give me a second so let's continue so here go miss miss christmas weird last name i gotta tell you so she's one of those leading up people leading a population astray just like you got so many people on tiktok they don't even get paid for the videos on tiktok but they lead the population astray. They, they didn't research that these symptoms are signs of psychosis, you know, are signs that um, oncoming strokes and other health defects that you're bringing upon yourself. They didn't research that, huh? So this Miss Christmas. You go to Miss Sammy Shea again. You go to her page. She talks about mental health. Go figure. On her latest videos, she talks about she was teaching a class. In Hogwarts about doing spells. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And she looks um, disoriented. Confused. And she looks to have a mental illness in her videos. She really does. Really does. Around in the face you can see when people are sick. Sometimes you can see when people are mentally sick in their face. Oh. Let's continue. It's crazy. Yeah, this this girl's growth on YouTube is uncommon. It's uncommon. It's uncommon. But she has a bunch of thirteen to seventeen year olds on her page who are psychotic. Again, they are mentally ill. They have become mentally ill from doing these methods. All these symptoms and all these spirits going in them. Mm. Um, um, here's somebody saying they walked around like a demon. So they tried to hypnotize themselves. Which most methods um, include hypnotists. You have to hypnotize yourself. They tried to do the Raven method. They ended up tearing their clothes off their body. Read the post. Read the post. They end up tearing their clothes off their body and started acting like a madman. Now, I wonder how many people have acted like a mad person when doing these methods. Now, a lot of people not going to tell their real experience. A lot of people on these Amnino Reddit, oh, they're not going to go deep, deep with what really happens after they do these methods. They, or they're going to tell you they saw flashing lights or their heart was racing or they felt numbness. They're not going to tell you about their psychotic breakdowns because it's negative. Oh, 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 you're preaching negative negativity in the community. Oh, you just make us feel so negative about shifting. We we lose motivation. Freaking retards. Freaking retards. They play with tarot cards and they play with um spirit apps. Freaking retards. Let's continue. Right, let's continue. They go to a portal. They go to your portal shifters. They go to your portal. Why don't you jump through it? You can't jump through a portal because it doesn't exist. You always see them type, I had a vivid dream, I had a lucid dream, I had a vivid dream. Then you got some idiots talking about, I shifted because I had a dream. They think their little dream meant they shifted, which again comes back to them performing hypnosis on themselves and repeating affirmations. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous, man. These people had no home training. I know their parents don't know what they're doing because they told their parents the truth. Of everything that's happening to them, they would be sent to a freaking mental hospital. They'd be sent to a psychiatrist. They'd be put on medication until they stop believing the foolishness they believe, the delusions they believe. That's what I'm saying. Ridiculous. Uh, beware of the witches. Beware of the witches. They talk to freaking witches on Amino and in Reddit. These freaking witches post, hey, I'm a witch. I'm on, they they post the freaking crap that they're a witch and these freaking retarded kids, freaking retarded kids go along with it, freaking retarded. What the fuck? It's and it's a shame that um it's a shame that YouTube and all these social media platforms allow this crap to go on. They allow this occult, dangerous crap to go on on their platform. With all the evidence available to them that shows. That reality shifting, astral projection, lucid dreaming, quantum jumping is a dangerous, harmful act. All the evidence, and they still allow it. That lets you know who really owns those platforms. 
So here goes somebody else talking about their experience. You can read it yourself. I'm not going to read it. I've read enough posts. This is somebody else having a psychotic breakdown during a shifting, during a shifting attempt, hearing voices. They heard it well five times. They heard a female voice say something. They never scripted it. Um, scripting can be used in sorcery to bring about your heart's desires. It's used in law of attraction. Law of attraction, they worship the full moon. They think the full moon is going to give them more power to attract a car or a, a different type of hair. Whatever their foolish hearts desire. It's ridiculous. Read it yourself. There you go. I'm not reading that crap again. I did enough reading on this. Enough reading. Enough research. Oh, good gosh. Good gosh. If I figure this stuff out, then they haven't figured this stuff out. I know they between the ages of 13 and 17, but good gosh, how stupid you got to be. How stupid you got to be to know something you're doing is dangerous. Like, like you believe a stranger when they told you your heart racing, numbness, um, you being disoriented, you bleeding, you having a bloody nose, which is a symptom. You, you believe a stranger when they said... Those are good signs you are shifting. Four or five months later, you're still trying to shift. Um, 10, 15 months later, you're still trying to shift. And nothing has happened but you losing your mind and you losing your health. Mm, yeah, and they call me the crazy one. But when you read this crap and research this crap, what's really going on with them, you will see who the crazy ones are. Mm, they made them tough crazy. Performing self-hypnosis. Freaking doing affirmations and visualizing. They're freaking crazy. They're crazy. They will be put away for it. And so here goes some more posts from Reddit. Y'all can read yourself. Um, somebody asking, how do clones work? Uh, uh, let me see what they wrote. Uh, I know I can't script. that no time passes while I'm in my DR. Yeah, so they believe... One hour in this reality while they're sleeping, it's like seven days in some fictional place they created as if they're God and they can create a different earth, uh, different types of universe. So you can read that yourself. Like my sugar, read that yourself. You see how crazy these people are for yourself. Seems I don't know how the parents don't know what these people are up these kids are up to. Wonder why the kids losing their mind. <clears throat> give them free you get them free roam access to the internet and they come across some crazy stuff they believe and try. End up losing their mind. Yeah. That's great parenting. That's great parenting, right? Mm. Right. Anyway. Uh, someone asked, can you accidentally shift, accidentally shift while sleep shifting doesn't exist? So, no, you can read that post yourself, too. Uh, give you a second to read it yourself. Okay. <clears throat> Do I find anything interesting about this post? <clears throat> well, I guess I do. I, I took a snapshot of it a couple of days ago, so whatever. What's interesting about it is just more crazy talk from these people. I guess. I guess. Um, some woman with me, something that were... So this was a nightmare they had. They they all have nightmares. That's one thing. They don't like to report on all the nightmares they get from trying this crap. You see some stories about nightmares, but all of them have nightmares. I don't know why Shimmy Shay and that Victoria Christian person, they don't report on the nightmares because they're faking it for views and AdSense. And I'm pretty sure they don't try shifting anymore. Mm. Don't worry. They go, to, they go to the moon. They go to the moon for Friday night. They go to the moon. Think the moon going to give them power. The moon is a light, y'all. The moon has no energy to give you. The moon has no vibrations to give you. This is all psychotic spirituality that, that lead to a mental hospital. That's what it, that's what it does. Believe it. Mm.
Uh, so take a look at your moon. Give y'all a second to look at your little moon. That's a light. It's a light in the sky. It's in the sky during the day and night. So, yeah. There you go. I'm going to post this, this. So, that guy at the top, he did a video about angel numbers and how angel numbers is demonic. So, what's this post about? Uh, anyone else had this happen? Read it yourself. I'm reading it. Talks about slipping out their body, which is a sign of psychotic breakdown. They felt a bit, this, this is when they awake, they felt a bit gust of warm air when there was no window open on their forehead. That's a hallucination, that's another sign of a psychotic breakdown. Uh, a deeper state of meditation, of hypnosis to be honest, a psychotic breakdown. So y'all can read that. Hit my cigarette. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Uh, so that's that right there. Celestial drag. I was usually try to call upon... They talk about spirit gods. Their spirit god is a celestial dragon. That's a psychotic sign of a psychotic breakdown. We talk about you have a spirit god who's a dragon. They actually believe this. This isn't for play. This isn't daydreaming. This isn't them using their imagination. They actually perform hypnosis on themselves. Say affirmations. And yeah, psychotic breakdown to the fullest. Psychosis to the fullest. They talk about sleep paralysis. Um, All of them experience sleep paralysis where they can't move when their eyes open and they end up seeing shadow people. But a lot of them don't talk about it because it scares the hell out of them. I did a video about it. I think my video about Celestial Subliminals has over 700 views. Most of the comments are about how they are scared of the thumbnail which shows a shadow demon. Oh my god. Let's continue on. You can read that yourself. Uh, they talk about visual hallucinations at the bottom, which is another sign of psychosis, a psychotic breakdown. What else? You guys are reading this for yourselves. All right. So I'm going to get ready in this video here so I can do another video. All right. This is my Uncle Occurrence with Uncle Entertainment. Let me get started on this next video. I will see you in the next video.